Hello there lads and lassies, welcome to Down the Well. This game is a demo, it's a concept for possibly what's going to be a full game at some point. Uh, it's available in Itch.io, so if you want to check it out for yourselves before watching this video, check out the link in the description below, have a shot of the game, come back and watch my playthrough of it, or watch my playthrough and do it vice versa, or don't play it, or whatever, I don't know, it's entirely up to you. You make your own choices. Free will! It's a hell of a thing! It's a hell of a thing! Alright, okay, so we're going to start the game. Um, it looked very interesting to me. Um, stylistically, I'm going to move my cursor out of the way there. Because I'm playing with the control pad, so I don't need the cursor there. <sighs> this control pad needs a clean. It's manker. The well, the underground, the place below are plainly the other side. This is home to the unseen and the otherworldly. They are exclusive, or oh, sorry, elusive, not exclusive, maybe they are though. Seducing and dangerous, exclusively elusive, yes. <laughs> it's actually quite a fun name. Alright, let's check this out. First and foremost, we got graphically looks very pretty. Uh, like the character. Kind of reminds me of Alice Madness Returns in that respect. Sound design seemed a bit okay, hang on. Turn my volume up a bit. So, we fell down a well. Or we we're about to fall down a well, I don't know. We jump. Oh, I've got a weapon. Okay, funky. So we will have to attack things. Or maybe gather stuff. Can we jump? Why? Okay, climb the ledge. So let's go and have a wander around. What's that say? Pick up. Yellow chanterelle. Uh, yellow chanterelle. Yes, that's right. Yellow chanterelle. Light stick. Boost light stick. Okay. Ah, funky. B sprint. Okay. Right, that's cool. Graphically, I like the look of this. Oh, there's more yellow chanterelle. Take some of that. Let's keep going here. Nice little cave system going on here. Um, like I said, though, graphically it looks very impressive. The stones are moist as they should be. Yes, I said moist. Who's that? Hello. Are we gonna we're we gonna follow you? Maybe I don't know. You're very enticing. Whatever you wear. Kind of want to see more of what you might or might not be. Let's give that up. Ooh, eerie singing. Let's go this way. Let's see what's over this way. Plenty of berries there. Alright, we're cool. We are cool, we're we're just looking around. Just having some fun here. What are you? It's sort of a totem or something. Let's pick up more mushrooms. You know, not like um, anything in here is actually... Where are we going? Climbing up, climbing up, climbing up. Yes, okay. Is there anybody out here? Anyone around? We're back here. Right, so we just completely... Completely messed up a little bit. I think, I think we went the wrong way. Ah, there's a rope here. Ah, let's climb the rope. Okay, here we go. Oh, so this thing sings when we get to the right area. What in the hell? Okay, how did we get back here? I'm... I'm mildly confused. 
Let's see. Can we go this way? Ah, yes, we can go this way. Okay. I want to get up there somehow. All right. Can we jump across? Let's see. I can't get up there. Let's see. Come on. No. Hmm. There has to be a way. Ah, here we go. Here's a way. Okay. Ah, this is weird, but cool at the same time. This, this certainly looks like a different path. Yep, there's a door here. Okay, we've not been this way. Let's open you up. I just realised what this reminds me of. Pan's Labyrinth. Hello. <gasps> Bunnies! And birdies! And strange... person. Come closer, little sapling. Let's give us a better look at you. He received 50 presents. Hello, I think I might need your help. I'm looking for a domain called Midwinter. In search of the freezing cold, are you, little sapling? A curious undertaking indeed. You've got a tail, haven't you? Especially for a visitor like yourself. I wouldn't burden you unnecessarily, but before offering you my help, I must ask for something in return. Of course, what can I get for you? Then the third depth, one layer below us, something is resting. Somewhere in the resting remains of our ancestors. Find proof of the fiend who set fire to my forest. But beware, little sapling, my hairs told me about the creature's powers. It is a most fearsome thing indeed. He soaked the trees in lies, forcing them to believe they were burning. Then suddenly they were. I wonder what someone with an ability to that would look like. Fine, I won't be back until I find out who this is. Look for anything out of the ordinary that you wouldn't expect to find in a peaceful forest. What, like a lady with a tail? When you're done exploring the third depth, use this key. Ooh, I've got a key. Use it in any of the well as ancient doors and it will always take you back here. Be safe, little sapling. We'll be watching your trail. I kind of want to go up and see you. But I can't. Okay. We'll talk. Right, so I've got an inventory. The mushrooms, gold mushrooms have a distinct scent. Plentiful in forests enjoy growing close to other plants. Alright, cool. Okay, that's a that's an easier one to do. Let's grab some more mushrooms. Is there any other mushrooms around? Kind of weirded out with the whole concept of it, you know, it's um I like it. I do like it. What do we have here? Red toadstools. Workbench. What can we do here? A twisted rope. Do we need reed grass? And a midwinter domain. Sleeping brick key. Got a pot there. I only know one troll who would leave his cauldron out like this. I told him to be more careful with it. He must be somewhere in the forest up ahead. I'll find him and ask him what he's been up to. Just open the door. I don't want to open it with the magic key because we want to go ahead with the journey a little bit. Full logs candles. He probably left these here so he could easily find his way back to the door. Let's blow them all out! No, it's not. Got a sickle. Right, cool, so it's a harvesting weapon. Tool, sorry. Fun! Seems to be a lot going on here. Um, let's have a look here. What's this? In mine? We've got some silver. Okay. Let's have a look around here. Need to light this up a little bit. There's a cairn there. 
Don't want to equip my sickle at the moment. I kind of want to look around. There's some, some dude there. Oh, we've got a uh, more um, chanterelle. Hello, buddy. Who are you? Oh, there you are, Tay. It's good to see you again. Did you manage to gain an audience with the Domain's Warden? Fog, yes. I followed her through the forest and found her here in the Great Stone Glade. The way she spoke, she seemed a lot nicer than I expected. Be careful with the Warden of the Forest, Tay. She may seem kind, but she'll ask with warmth because she wants something from you. She will seem harmless like a bluebell at first until you're close enough to die from her thorns. She sounds even more dangerous than the other Wardens we've met so far. Are you talking from experience? She has a reputation of being nothing short of ruthless against other kin, and trolls are no exception. She does have a weird fascination with humans, though. I have indeed met her before. It worries me that she's moved so close to my camp. Oh, well, if he's worried, then I should probably be worried too. Kind of curious about everything, though. Alright, uh, let's go and have a little wander around, just a little bit more, um, before we, yeah, we'll just collect more and more mushrooms, maybe they'll protect us for whatever reason. Don't really want to harvest them at the moment. What's down there? Interact. So something can be attached to this pole. A rope, perhaps? That's um, something we can create in that little area, so... I kind of want to have a look around here first. Why does this all sound so... Oh, that just brings us back here, okay. Let's have a look up here and see if we can find anything cool. Oh, more mushrooms, more silver. I'm just mining for silver now. This is really pretty. I actually like this. This is something I think I would enjoy, you know, playing just more of it. You know, I, I want to actually see more of what this is about. Troll cauldron. I've never seen one made in Greystone before. I've only heard stories about how throwing coins in them will grant good luck. People who believe those legends clearly have met a real troll. It's true that cauldrons usually have some primitive magic infused in them. But the only thing Fuller's cauldron gives me is soup. Not as good as eternal luck, but not too bad either. Alright, let's uh... What are you? Other words to the main second depth it was a roar of the Third Mountain King that split the bedrock, opening a path to the riches below. Such an interesting concept. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this is something that you would enjoy? Um, do you think you would play it? Okay, reed grass. You need a hundred and twenty reed grass. Okay. Right, I am going to pause for just now, but thank you guys so much for checking this out with me. Really liking this, really want to see more of it. Um, hopefully the developers will continue with this, because it looks like something that should possibly believe. I would play this as a Switch game, to be honest. I would play this as a PS4 game. I'd play this on consoles. I'd play this on Steam. I'd play this anywhere. So yeah, keep it going, devs. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time, but until then, bye bye